Yo, what the deal, YouTube? This your man, Frank Dutch, right here. I'm back at y'all with another Pro Tools 101 video, man. And this one, man, we're we going to go over the toolbar in Pro Tools, man. Like, I feel like that's a very important piece to this whole Pro Tools thing because, you know, you can get you can get to a lot of things in Pro Tools just from the toolbar alone. But before we get into it, though, I definitely want you to subscribe, ring that bell, especially if this video helped y'all, man. If it didn't help y'all, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Well, nah, still do it because there's other videos up here that's fire that will help y'all. But nonetheless, hit the hit the like button, hit the, hit the share button, and definitely subscribe to the channel, man. And uh, click the link down in the description below. Go to waxyard.com. Check out the Waxyard E18 microphone, man. You can use my code APEX10 and get 10% off that thing, man. So definitely go check that out. But without further ado, we about to get into the toolbar in Pro Tools. So check it out. All right, so the first thing that we're going to get into concerning the toolbar is the shuffle button right here. Like this, actually, these four buttons right here are very useful. Like um, the first one, though, is the shuffle button. And basically what that does is it... it it, it pretty much brings the clips together. So say like for an example, you have a section in the beat right here that you don't want, you know what I mean? Like you want it to go right from this section right into the verse. I can take the shuffle button, have it on shuffle, and highlight both of these points right here and hit delete. And it'll take that whole space out and also line everything else up. As long as you highlight all of the other, you know what I mean? The, like the entire space that you're trying to delete, you got to go all the way through all of your tracks and do it. And it'll, it'll do just that, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, I didn't do it correctly here. Like this part didn't move, but the actual verse did. Had I kept it like that, it would have been off. So check this out. What you would have to do is highlight all of that stuff and then hit delete and it'll shift everything back so yeah like i like to use shuffle for stuff like that if i'm taking out a specific part of a song you know what i mean or 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 like doing a version where you know yeah just taking out a specific part of the song the next thing though i want to get into is slip now slip is probably the most common thing all of us use you know what i mean especially like if you're um trying to put something in a in a in a specific place like you're trying to get it in the in a very specific place and uh it allows you to move the clip around freely you know what i'm saying anywhere on the on the edit window you know what i mean so that's slip spot is usually used for like film and tv stuff you know what i'm saying people um like pretty much say like if I if I took a clip from over here and I wanted to drag it in when I did that this this dialog box will pop up and it'll ask me like where exactly that I want to do I want to put it if I have it on uh bars and and uh I mean excuse me minutes and seconds it'll it'll ask me like what what minute and second or what second or millisecond that you want to have it at if I got it at bars and beats it's going to ask me what bar do I want to put it on now, having it on bars and beats is very useful for when you got everything tempo mapped, you know what I mean? And we're going to get to that. Now, the grid function is, like, one of my favorite uh, things out of this four because, like, again, if you have everything tempo mapped, you can pretty much just have everything trimmed to the very beginning of that clip. And as long as it starts on, you know, some sort of downbeat or if you know what actual beat it starts on, you can set it here with the grid and um, pretty much, uh, I'll, I'll just show you. Turn on the grid mode, put it on bars and beats. And we already know to hit R and T if we got this highlighted right here. We can zoom in like that. But if you look closely, you see these grid lines. Now if it's tempo mapped, you'll be able to pretty much just drag the clip right on to those grids. So yeah, that's the grid mode. Now, the next thing that we're going to get into, speaking of the zoom controls and stuff like that, this is another way to do that. These two arrow buttons right here will zoom in and out of the entire session. And you can also use them to zoom in on the actual waves. You know what I'm saying? And you can also... I actually don't know what this is for. I never knew what that was for. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. 
I'm gonna keep it too super real, which I don't I don't even remember what that's for. But what you it's it's pretty much for all of the Zoom functions. You know what I mean? Even this right here, uh, these are presets like for the actual you know Zoom. So that's that. This button right here, as you can see, according to what track you actually on. It'll zoom in on on that whole track. It'll make the whole track full screen. So that's how you do that. And this right here is the zoomer tool. Now with this, you can actually drag and zoom into a specific spot. If you hold if you hold down Option, you can zoom back out as you click. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much that. And these right here. I want to go over these with y'all. Now, this one right here, this is Tab to Transient. Tab to Transient is dope for when you're trying to get, like, right up on a, 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 a downbeat. You know what I mean? I like to use it, like, for when I'm, like, for an example. Some, some MP3s that you get when you uh, mix in a song or if you get ready to record, it'll have some dead space in the um in the beginning of it like here it has this dead space right here so what i like to use tab to transient for it'll allow me to get right up on the beginning of the wave as you can see right here and i can hit command e which will split the uh, audio clip and I can hit delete, and now it's no dead space in the beginning of that. So now when I'm trying to tempo map this beat or figure out what the uh, BPM, I mean, excuse me, tempo map this session or figure out what the BPM is of the beat, I can work with the exact beginning of the, of the music. So yeah, let's go ahead and actually keep that like that. Let's um, highlight all of this stuff and slide it back. Now we're at the very beginning of the session. All of the clips are, are pretty much at the beginning of the session. So when I do go in to actually tempo map the, uh, the beat, which y'all will see in a, in a future video, um, I'll be ready. All right, so, so the next button that's up here next to the Zoomer tool is the Trim tool. Now the, tr the Trim tool is just simply what it is. Like you can zoom in, use it to trim down the audio clips like that's 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 easy you can do that in grid mode you can do that in slip mode you can do that in spot now watch what happens when i when it asks me to do it in spot again it'll ask me where do i want to trim it to you know what i'm saying if i do it in shuffle it'll just trim it'll just trim all the way down and and slide back as it's trimming down you know what i'm saying so let's let's fix that <laughs> All right. So the next thing up here is the um, highlight tool, which is basically or selector tool, which is pretty much, um, you know, how you select a certain section of the session. You know what I'm saying? Or, or audio clip or whatever. Uh, the hand tool is actually how you can move the, the clips around. You know what I mean? So if I highlight the clip and I hit command E because I want to split those clips. I can take the hand tool, if I take it off of shuffle mode, <laughs> I can take the hand tool and I can move the clips around. 